Okay, I'm going to show a setup from Worm Guard where once you finally get to the full worm, they do some sort of back step and enter inverted half guard. But in reality, you're not in inverted half guard, you're in an inverted half guard worm guard or an inverted half guard that's more of a, a ringworm guard. And both of them have been really successful for me uh, in competition and just on the mats. So I'm entering my regular worm however you want. I, I'm really for two on one to get my lapel last out and then just starting to play like a sit-up type guard. But if I get all the way to worm, where I hand it over, number one, the key detail is I want to be above his knee so that he can't blast through this. But also, I'm turning his knee in. If I'm below the knee, it's kind of hard for me to do that. But if I'm above his knee, I can turn his knee in and I can kind of cinch my knee above his knee really tight. Now some people, as you start going around for back to take the back, they just step back and they're going to start cross-facing you. So now we're in, in like an inverted half guard. However, we're still really in a worm guard. We just turn all the way around. Actually, I'll just let this guy. Just here. No, we just yeah. it So we made it all the way to worm, and they back step, and they're going to start pressuring you. So now this is where we are. And now you have a few options here. Option one is to give up the worm and go right to inverted half guard. It's something that I do all the time, so I really like inverted half guard. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my left arm, and I'm reaching all the way around his back to grab some gi. And once I grab the gi and I feel comfortable, I'm going to ditch the worm guard grip. I'm going to do this in slow motion for you. And I'm going to hand that off to my left hand. So my left hand is right behind his back. But while all that's happening, I'm going to switch to his legs. So my top leg pinches in, and my, I'm sorry, my bottom leg pinches in, and my top leg is going to come under. So now, I can elevate him. So I'll take my right hand, I'm going to grab his knee, and I'm just going to keep elevating. So as he starts pressuring into me, I can just elevate and catch my sweep. Now if you don't want to get rid of this ringworm, uh, I'm sorry, the worm guard, and he's back snack, and I still have this worm, that's fine. I still reach under his back like I'm going to grab his lapel, but what I'm now going to do is just start switching my hips. So I take my right leg and I just keep stomping it out, and I'm just going to start coming up. And even if he starts coming up, I'm going to win this battle because he needs to get his knee to the floor. So as he's turning towards me, I just keep elevating my right hand. So it's this hand that I'm elevating as I'm coming up. And I usually come all the way up to mount. And his leg is already killed because, can we turn? As I come up to mount, I'm pressing his knee there. So I'll do that in uh, fast, fast motion or regular motion. Let's stand. It doesn't matter. I'll go here. So I'm here. I'm in my worm. He goes for the back step. Okay. I'm going to start stopping this leg and just start coming up. But I'm above his knee. So that when I come all the way up to mount, his hip is killed. And then the last one is ringworm. It's a similar concept, but I haven't made it all the way to worm guard. So I hand it to my left hand. Sorry. But I haven't handed it back before he's done his back step. So he's here, he's back step, and I'm in this ringworm. Okay? So I'm okay with this because I have another hand to create space. If he's trying to crowd me, I can start pushing him away. But also, I could kill his base here. So even if he starts coming in really tight on me, really, really tight, I'm going to create a little bit of space. And when I feel him trying to come up, this hand is what kills it. So my right knee pressures his chest down, and I'm going to kick with my left leg. And now he can't get up because he can't mobilize on his elbow. And even if he can mobilize on his elbow, I'm going to keep fighting that. And from here, I'm going to stop, and I'm just coming all the way up. Now, unlike worm guard, I'm not always going to come up past the knee. Because in worm guard, you're always going to be past the knee. But in ring worm guard, you're not always going to be past the knee. So there's a few ways out of this. Recently, I've been taking my opposite leg and cutting, but you can also take the worm leg and cut. So you could just knee cut in, plant, back step, and then just ditch the grip and sprawl.